Jesus Christ, this is not a drill. Fellas, ladies, non-binary, everyone in between. Fellas, people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people. Hey, all you people, won't you listen to me? Y'all, Kyrie Irving's back. I, 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 I'm equally as shocked as you. I was over here knocked out, just, 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 just knocked out. But I saw the bat signal in the sky, and I said, something has gone awry in the universe. Some, so, something is not quite stationary. I feel like it's over for someone, and I couldn't figure out what it was. I felt like it was over for someone and something. It's the league. It's the league. Because that man's back. That man has been sitting on the side and has seen enough, and the Nets have collectively hit the emergency glass. Y'all, Kyrie Irving's back. I, um, the ramp up period seems to be over. The games are no longer being played. The serious button has been engaged. Kyrie Irving will be making his season debut against the Indiana Pacers, I believe, Wednesday. I think I'm getting that correct. Kyrie is backity back. Now, unfortunately, due to health and safety protocol, we won't get to see him against the homie Karras because I believe that man has the Rudy Bear shuffle, if you know what I mean, and a good bit of the team. So on one end, it's messed up, but on the other end, it's like, oh, Kyrie about to snap, snap. He about to snippety snap because there's no one there to stop him now. They're coming back to slap around a battered Pacers team. The only thing that could possibly ruin this is if the Pacers don't have enough players and they postpone the game. Which, I mean, obviously there are other factors that are more important than Kyrie's return. So there's a bunch of different things that are kind of messed up in that equation. But selfishly, as Nets fans, that is the only thing that can possibly go wrong here. Or Kyrie leaves his literal bubble and, you know, he were to test positive for something. But we are being positive that, oh, hey now, we are being positive that nothing is going to happen. I think we need to wrap Kyrie up in some bubble wrap, throw him in the same under the stairs closet that they threw Harry Potter, or is it his parents? I never saw those movies, but just put him in some type of literal bubble and just let him sit there and marinate like, like, like chicken wings or something like that. Just let that man marinate in the emergency reserve, like safety deposit box or something like that until game time to make sure this man is ready to go. Kyrie has not played. The last time we saw this man professionally playing, not playing flag football, not doing, you know, personal conditioning, training and workouts in middle school gyms with his friends or something like that. The last time we professionally saw this man, it was the second round of the playoffs against Giannis and them where a certain accident happened with Giannis's foot that injured Kyrie, which was an accident. Which was an accident, but anyway, that, that that's the last time we saw Kyrie. So it's almost been like half a year, I guess, because that was like June. Yeah, it was June, that was like June the seventh or eighth or something like that. Yeah, yeah, so, so, so we're, we're mm. It's been a minute since we've seen this man. And obviously the hype is at an all time high. So now that we've gotten the hype out of the way, we gotta come through with a little context behind the hype, unfortunately. So if this is if this is the part of the video that kind of just kills the vibe, I'm sorry, but we gotta talk about it, unfortunately. So the reason why Kyrie hasn't been here is because Kyrie had a decision to not be vaccinated and while the theme behind it seems to have changed several times from him being the voice of the voiceless to other various things that is the reason why Kyrie has not been out there so it's not because of it's not because of the specific injury it's because Kyrie was ineligible to play because of certain laws in the state of New York which 
Y'all all know, there we go. We addressed it, we put it out there. Time to move on to the positives. But that man's back. It is an away game. This man's ready. And personally, I, ju I just want y'all to leave down below how much you think that man fit to drop. That's, that, that, that's what I need from y'all. Y'all tell me how much y'all think that man fit to drop. I'm going for a cool 25. That's what I'm thinking. First game back. He's not going to go too crazy with it, but his only job is to shoot the ball because James Harden is the point guard, which now he can literally just do that and not score all he wants, and it's fine. Kevin Durant is going to worry about averaging 60% from the field, and he doesn't want to mess that up in the regular season. So he can do whatever he's doing right there, and Kyrie is free to just shoot the ball. And I am... I'm so here for it. And I think with that type of freedom, first game back, I believe he's going for 25. Let me know down below how much you think Kyrie is going to score in his debut, which is so crazy to say. Let me know your thoughts down below. Are you hyped? Are you angry? Are you salty? Are you ecstatic? Are you some other adjective that means excited? Let me know down below. Remember to subscribe to Nets Republic here on YouTube and follow us on all forms of social media, specifically Twitter and IG to keep it a bang, but that's not, you know, there. And I will see y'all later tonight for whatever happens with John Moran. I've got a feeling this is my only positive video of the day, but I'll see y'all later today. Sever the bond from Nets Republic. Kyrie is back. Yeah.